<laughs> impossible. <laughs> it's impossible. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's not because of big animals. <laughs> Yo, Cray is. He's done so much. He's experienced so much pain, turmoil, and agony. He just wants to retire and do nothing. But everybody wants to force him into being the guy. And he does not want to be the guy. He just wants to be just a natural, normal guy with no worries, no like upsides or anything like that. He just wants to focus on relics, enjoy himself. Have some peace. And every time he tries, they just keep pulling him back in. It's crazy. Oh, my God. So this one, this one ended the exact way I thought it was. I thought Cray was going to end up going a specific direction. Then all of a sudden, he just stumbled upon the captive people. This was not in any type of way his intention to go ahead and find these guys, but he happened to stumble upon them and found them. So now he rescued the guys, tried to escape, and lo and behold, one of the uh, guys said that there's a, a, a really, really strong guy out there who's um, possibly as strong as one of the great swordsmen ever to exist, and as one of Cray's friends, of course. Uh, it's, it's funny because I, I could have sworn that was a guy. But then when they showed, it looked like a grown woman. So I I I don't know. I don't want to assume anybody's gender or assume that I'm getting it correct and I'm possibly getting it wrong or anything like that. I'm going to let the anime itself just point me in the right direction and I'll just follow along. Uh, lo and behold, they go to the original uh, battle area, the den, and then um, they were just terrified of the guy because they, they they topped him up and was like, oh yeah, he's really, really strong. Woo, 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 woo. Lo and behold, one of uh, Cray's best friend Liz pops up and she completely dog walked the hell out of this guy. And she tried to scold uh, Tino because she was like, oh, you're making me look bad in front of Cray. I can't believe you're doing this to me right now. He said you look bad in front of he. She didn't make you look bad in any type of way, shape, or form. And she knocked the flame dude completely the fuck out just because he irritated her. It was, it, it was crazy. So moving forward, um, she starts talking, talking, talking. Uh, out of nowhere, she just starts wailing on this guy. I mean, she's going to town. So I'm guessing the entire premise of the series is that his best friends are actually really extremely freaking strong. He's strong in regards to like using different uh relics and stuff like that. I'm guessing he possibly has some type of extra bonus for relics or some type of luck spell or charisma uh attribute or something like that. When it comes out, maybe I'm just talking, thinking too much of D and D. Maybe that could be it. Maybe I'm thinking too much of D and D. I've been a bard. I've been um, a druid too long, and it's just starting to affect me. But I'm suspecting that he has some type of affinity for charisma or persuasion or anything like that. Because every single time they think that he's doing something on purpose, he's not trying to do that at all but it still ends up working out in their favor. Maybe his luck stat is just really, really fucking high and he just can't get it off. But um, lo and behold, his uh, best friend ends up coming up, saving them. I'm guessing 
every single one of his friends are extremely, extremely strong. I mean, they were able to take out a Cyclops as children. So it makes sense that now as they've gotten older, they are actually 10 times stronger than what they were before. They're just extremely gifted. And he thinks that he doesn't have any type of affinity because his stats are in charisma and luck. And that uh, right there has built his entire character up. Um, but lo and behold, she beats the absolute dog shit out of him. Uh, the flame dude gave up his sword. And then now we're in a position where we don't know what's going to happen next. Are they going to pick up a new job, new dangerous job or something like that? Or is Craig going to end up um, moving the... Uh, Trying to make it to where everybody is able to get closer to each other when it comes down to the guild. It seems like everybody's pretty spread out, or everybody's probably on their own personal missions or something like that to get shit done faster. I, I'm not entirely sure. But um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on, man. I, I love this show. The animation is absolutely amazing, the concept is unique. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe down below for more videos just like this one. Make sure you like me, love me, and you talk me down below. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace. Help me on our road to uh, 3,000 subscribers. Gotta go.